Hello, this is a brief tutorial on the program Brewing Water by Martin Brungard, which is used to help adjust your mash pH. This is a brief overview of that program, and we'll start with the instructions, which are up on the screen now. That's the tab zero. At the other end of the, on the right side, is the water knowledge tab and the two of those will actually help you if you will read them to understand what it is you're doing and trying to accomplish with this program. But let's move on to the water report input. This is where you put in your local water values. The program will save those values and you can then adjust those values to meet a given water profile in any future beer you choose to do. In each of the cells there is a red arrow and in those red arrows he has a lot of information that I would encourage you to read particularly if the cell is red or or there's something you don't understand about the values he has a lot of information in here that can help explain that to you. We'll now move to the sparge acidification tab. This tab actually helps you to determine whether or not you need to acidify your sparge water. And if you do, there are a number of different acids that you can use, and he will tell you how much of each to use to the, add to the sparge water actually to help acidify it. The next tab is the water profile adjustment calculator. This is the meat of the program and in it you can select a desired water profile. Pale ale profile is what I have up but there are numerous ones uh, present. You just choose what you're trying to match. You can select other types of water other than your own water. You can add or even use totally distilled water or reverse osmosis water or in any given dilution percentage. Uh, the finished water profile below is what you're trying to match to the one up as the desired water profile. And we'll get to that in a few minutes. You have your mash pH, your water volumes, both mash and sparge here, and then the various salts that you will add. As with the other sheets, these have red arrows in many of the cells that explain what you're looking for. If a cell turns red, look and see in the corner. We will generally explain why the cells are red, what values to expect that to happen at, and why to avoid it. All right, let's move to the mash acidification page. This is where you input your grain bill. Uh, you, he tells you what types of grain to select. There's base malt, crystal, roast, and acid. Tells you which grains are included in what categories. You'll need to input the color as well in Lova Bond. And then it will calculate your projected pH. And you can go back to the other page to adjust your salts. Next page is the adjustment summary. And on this page, you can actually highlight the adjustment summary. In the print area up here, select set print area. And then you can print this area and use it to help adjust your mash salts. The next tab is the raw text summary. It's just basically the raw numbers. And that's my general overview.